Great meal, Dad. Yeah, Dad, you really excelled yourself. Thank you. Yeah, I agree, Mr Kelly. It was great. What was it? <laughs> no, how can you say in one breath that it was great and then what was it in the next? Well, it's my taste buds, Mr Kelly. They're not what they used to be. I think they need a retread. <laughs> a retread? Yeah, they're all worn down. Take a look. <laughs> no, just taste buds don't wear down. Well, of course they do, Mr Kelly. It's a well-known fact. They're like tyres. Tyres? Are you crazy? Yeah, well, you know how the faster you drive the car, the more the tyres wear down? Well, the faster you eat, the more your taste buds wear down. <laughs> Let me tell you, Mr Kelly, I'm a real Formula One eater. That's right, Dad. They don't call him Turbo Tongue for nothing. <laughs> right. Now, listen, someone is going to clear that table. And guess what? It's not going to be me. Uh, I'm having coffee. No, I'll do it. Oh, fine. Thank you, Simon. All right, what have you done? What do you mean, what have I done? What have you lost, dropped, broken, bent, crashed or forgotten to do? Tick any or all of the above. Dad, all I've done is volunteer to do something. That's right, Simon. And when you volunteer to do something, it's always because you've done something. And that second something is always a really bad something. Now, come on, have you done something? Yeah, I've done something. I thought so. All right, Simon. I'm ready to listen. I've applied for a job. What? Simon, how many times do I have to say this? I have told you time and time again. But do you listen? No. The first chance you get, you go out and you... You what? I've applied for a job. Oh, well, why do you think that would make me angry with you? Well, I didn't. You keep out of this. Well, I didn't. Well, that's what I said. No. <laughs> yes, Mr Kelly. Go home. <laughs> now, why did you want to get into my good books? Oh, I know. You want to borrow my car for your job? Dad, all it is is a job in a restaurant as a waiter. Ah, uh, it's a drive-in restaurant. You want to practice on my car? No, uh, it's an ordinary restaurant and he wants to practice on your table. <laughs> you see, Dad, you have to be able to clear the table in 15 seconds and I told him I could, so I have to practice on it. Yes, well, just remember, all breakages will be paid for by the waiter. Well, in that case, all breakages will be paid for by the coach. <laughs> There'll be no breakages, Dad. I'm getting really good at this. I can now balance four plates on each arm. Yes, well, if those plates fall off your arm, you'll need a plate in your head. <laughs> <laughs> Simon's going to balance plates up and down his arm, and he's saying, don't worry. It's like the captain of the Titanic saying, a little bit of ice never hurt anyone. <laughs> What's he doing? Oh, he's going to be a waiter. He's balancing plates up and down his arms. Simon, balancing? He can't even juggle one ball. Yes, I know, but... <laughs> Simon, how'd you manage that? Well, Dad, all it takes is a lot of concentration and... Uh... <laughs> a lot of strong tape. <laughs> Well, then I've got to do is figure out how to do this in the restaurant. <laughs> well, I'll give him top marks for ingenuity. Oh, sorry, Simon, I didn't know you were coming back. Now I'm going to give him ten seconds to get out of town. <laughs> You might as well go ahead and do it. Do what? Go ahead and kill me now. Oh, all right, Nudge. Place Nick here. Oh, hang on, don't you want a reason? No, 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 it's all right. No, no, I think you ought to know. Oh, if you must. Come on, tell me, and then I'll get on with killing you. <laughs> uh, I'll break your doorbell. Oh. Is that all? Yeah. Oh, damn it, I can't kill you for that. It was already bragging. No, no, honestly, I, I just shut it and it fell to pieces. Yeah, I know, it's been happening all week. You sure you can't think of another reason why I should kill you? Uh, well, let's see. No! <laughs> Better luck next time. I, um, where's Betty? Oh, she's still at lunch. She had some shopping to do. Oh, um, what do you want me to do with this? <laughs> Might as well put it in the waste paper bin. It's no good to me. I suppose now I'll have to buy a new doorbell. <laughs> Just go ahead with what you're doing. Just ignore me. <laughs> Nudge, why aren't you at work? Oh, flexi time, Mr Kelly. Do you intend standing here all afternoon? Oh, no. <laughs> I've got a lot to do. <laughs> Stop it. Stop what? Whistling. I'm not whistling. You were whistling. Oh, yeah, you sure? Oh, didn't know I was whistling. Maybe it was the wind blowing through your ears. <laughs> <laughs> Makes it sound like the ocean. <laughs> oh. huh? It broke it. I know. Yeah, we shouldn't press so hard. I know. <laughs> Is this 
all you do all day, just draw things? No, sometimes I do colouring in as well. <laughs> I failed colouring in. Really? Yeah, I kept going outside the lines. <laughs> That's why I could never be an architect. <laughs> It's a tree. I'm indicating the garden area. Well, you wouldn't put a tree there. It won't get any sun there. I am putting a tree there. <laughs> Not a tree there. What was that? What? That knocking sound. I just went, Not a tree there. <laughs> after you did that. Oh, maybe it was an echo. Of course it wasn't an echo. There's somebody at the door. Well, why didn't they ring the doorbell? Because they're at the door. They're not hiding in the waste paper bin. Oh, yeah. Oh, do, I, do I hate that when people knock on the door and then run away? Oh, oh, I think it could. I think the door is open again. What? I think, I think the door is open again. <laughs> Betty, will you get on with your work and stop playing silly games with the front door? We're back. Oh dear, it's Tweedledum and Tweedledofy. <laughs> he means us. <laughs> yes. Yeah, and I think I know which one you are. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Gilly, guess what? We've got the new doorbell. Nudge drive me down to the shops. Good. Well, if you'll excuse it's a real beauty, me, I'm Mr. a little Kelly. busy. Take a look. It's a... I said I'm a little busy. Oh, not too busy for this. Look, it's a lot to see. Oh, all right. <clears throat> see? It's a radio bell. A radio bell? Yes. See, this part with the bell push is actually a radio transmitter. Yeah, and this one isn't. <laughs> It's a receiver. Oh, have you got one already? No, I just took a wild stand. Listen, well, so what'd you get this thing for? I wanted a simple doorbell. <laughs> but, Mr Kelly, this is simple. You see, this one we attach to the front door. And this one here, the receiver, we plug that into a PowerPoint, she's ready to go. No installation, no unsightly wires. I mean, what could be simpler? Yeah, we saved you hundreds of dollars in installation costs. <laughs> really? Yeah. How much does this thing cost? Hun hundreds of dollars. <laughs> Uh, ready, Benny. Now press the button and see if it works. Oh, no, no, no. No, for the first official trial, we've got to have an honoured guest. <laughs> Mr. Gully, it's ready. Good. I am glad. Well, you know, you've you got to come in and, and, and give it its first official trial. <sighs> All right. I may as well. Won't get any work done until I do. Now, all you've got to do is press this. I know. I have pushed doorbells before. <laughs> Very nice. Now, if you look see. Is that it? <laughs> when is this thing going to finish? Are you two out of your brains? 